Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're looking at how you can take a single layer pen image and create multi layers. It's actually a lot easier to do than you may think and it can be, depending on the image, quite a quick process. So first thing I've done is I've gone into images, I've selected browse all images, I've come to operation type and opened that up and I've selected draw only and this will bring up images that are set to draw so that you get that nice single line draw. When you select a cut image to draw, sometimes you might get double lines. And depending on the pens you're using, the colors you're using and the image, sometimes it can look lovely and sometimes not so lovely. So I try where I can to select draw images. I'm gonna type in Christmas and I can then select the draw image that I want to work with. I've selected this one and you can see that my operation is set to pen and it's also a single layer, but I want to create a multi-layer. I want each of these elements to draw in a different color pen. So the first thing I'm gonna do is duplicate it and I'm going to duplicate it so that I've got four layers because I want four different colors. I'm then going to draw around all of them, come to the top of my panel, align and centre so that they're all perfectly sat on top of each other. I'm going to select the first layer, come across to operation, it's already set to pen, I'm going to click on the colour box and of course I can change the type of pen and that's not going to affect your image. So if I, for example, want to white, I want a white color, rather than leaving it on fine point and then choosing something like a gray, I can go to gel and then select white so that I know when it's asking for the white pen, I can put my white opaque pen in. You don't have to do that. The machine doesn't know what color pen or what type of pen you're putting in. It will just tell you that you've selected a gel white or a glitter gel red or a turquoise. You could put, even though it said glitter gel red, I could still put in a metallic pen for example but I always choose the pens closest to the ones I'm going to use because I use it as a reminder so if it tells me I want a glitter gel red then I know that I've selected a glitter gel red for that layer so I'm going to change the first one to white opaque the next layer I'm going to change to a dark green the next layer I'm going to change to a light green and the last layer I'm going to change to a red. And of course we won't see them because we've got those other layers on top. But if I hide those other layers we can then see each of our colours. So I'm going to select my white opaque layer first and I'm going to come to the bottom of my layers panel and open up my contour. I'm going to hide all contours. This is for Windows and Mac. I will show you how to do this in iOS as well on the next video. I'm going to hide all contours and that will take away all of the contours except for the top one. I'm going to bring back the areas that I want to be white and I can then remove that top layer. When I close it down, you'll see that just the middle of my berries are now white. But I've still got all of those other layers underneath. So if I click on the next layer, which is the dark green, and I open up my contour, Again, if I hide all contours because it'll take away everything but the top one, 
I can then select my outer leaves and because the top is an outer leaf, I can leave that. I can then close contour down and again I've got the outer of my leaves in dark green. Next layer is my light green. I'm going to open up my contour. This time just to show you I'm going to take away by clicking the areas that I don't want to be light green. So I'm leaving just the inside of my leaves and again I can close that down and you'll see that I've then got my red berries however if I hide everything that red layer is still intact it's just that those other colors are sat on top of it if I leave my red layer as it is the rest of those pen colours are going to go over it and it's all going to get diluted and murky in colour. So we still need to take away those elements that we don't want in red. So I'm going to select my red layer, open up my contour. Again, I'm just going to hide all contours, bring back the areas that I want in red and then remove that top layer. You can then see that I've got all of my colour layers in pen and they are each got their own individual elements. Now if I simply just go to make it, you'll see that although they're all on one mat, they're all individual. So what I need to make sure I always do when I'm creating these layers is to draw around all of them and make sure they're selected and I know they're selected in live design space they go a dark grey in beta they'll go a kind of greeny colour and we all know that we want to be running from beta if we can be because we'll get all the new features. We're going to come down to the bottom of our layers panel and attach. If we now go to make it, that's going to draw in each of those pen colours exactly as we see it. And when we do go to make it, it will ask us for the red pen, the light green, the dark green and the white so that we know exactly which pen we're putting in and when. And that's how you can create multi layers from a single layer pen image. As always, I hope this has been helpful. If you've got any comments or questions, please do ask below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.